Hello YouTube friends and welcome. Today I have for you a presentation of my first Wii knife. So this is a Chinese knife company that has a really good track record and reputation in the knife uh, market. They are making a lot of OEM production for different well-known and established uh, knife makers and my understanding is that uh, they are looking for a mid to high-end uh, market so if you are not talking about a few budget offerings from them uh, their knives are over $100 uh, mostly So, today I have for you here a beautiful example. This is the 814A Chimera with the bronze tie hardware handle and a 35 year blade. They give you a nice pouch. And inside we have a few goodies. Mm, this is some chili powder that I got from the reseller from where I got the knife. This is probably not a standard issue for the for the knife. There's some information about the product. Warm team maintenance, nice. All the social media stuff, they are really on all the sites. And of course, standard nice microfiber cloth. This is a really nice, sturdy, heavy duty pouch with two compartments so you can store two knives. Okay, and here is the beauty. So I will wipe down the residual oil because it, it came nicely oiled. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the quick specs. So we have titanium hardware, like I mentioned beautifully 3D milled backspacer almost floating the screws are titanium 6L 4V and also the scales the insert is of course the steel which on this one is S35 yen and we have a beautiful looks like hand rubbed satin finish with a beautifully done clip point it has been a while since I got a nice clip point blade so I was really excited when I saw this design and right now you can get uh, two versions of this knife. First is uh, just your standard stone wash, but nice stone wash gray finish overall. So also blade and titanium. And the second one, the this one is with the bronzed titanium accents and blackened uh, flats. So we have a overall length of 8.9 inches, so this is a 22.6 centimeter long of a blade, also should I say knife. The blade is 3.9 inches or 99 millimeters, CPM S35VN, 
the blade thickness is uh, 0 0.16 inches or 4, 4 millimeters stock which is really nice and of course will serve you well it has a flat ground blade the hardness of the of the blade is 59 to 61 HRC the handle is 5 inches or 127 millimeters the handle thickness is 0 0.53 inches or 13.6 millimeters the material, like I mentioned previously, is 6AL4V titanium and the blade rides on ceramic ball bearings. The weight of the knife is 141.2 grams or 4.98 all, almost five ounces. Uh, this design was developed by uh, in-house designers uh, of V, so this is no collaboration with any uh, knife maker. This piece of uh, pericord was probably an addition from the reseller. I'm not aware that uh, this should be a standard video purchase. The knife features a beautifully 3D milled pocket clip. The leaf cut is also excellently done. Okay, let's talk a little, about, a little bit about these embellishments. So firstly, the, the pivot screw is functioning as a logo. So this is the V-Knives logo there. You have a little bit of cutouts here, then a few venting holes, and then of course we have these deep scratches, from which the the, uh, the name of the knife uh, derives. So, Chimera, as I understand, was a mythical creature. Um, this embellishment is nice, but of course, uh, if you use this knife uh, on a daily basis, you will catch up uh, some dirt, or maybe it can irritate your hand after a prolonged uh, use of the knife. So maybe we knives could uh, maybe produce a third version of this knife without the embellishments and that would be really awesome so you can choose the action is really smooth the ergonomics are excellent the knife is meant to be used in this uh, grip uh, I will say why if you see this choil is, uh, is Maybe you, you can fit your finger there if you have a small finger, but um, this is a really a sharpening choil, so the blade uh, is sharp to the, to the end. So if you put your finger there, you can maybe um, cut yourself, so be very careful. This, I don't know if it is an oversight, but maybe they could give you a larger um, relief cut. So you can use your, your finger in a choke up position, but obviously they did not. So this is the way how to use the knife. So be very careful if you're handling this knife. Don't get confused with knives that have the, the finger choil there. 
light strider. Okay, so obviously this is a finger choil and this is a relief choil, a relief cut choil. But overall a really nice large knife for for large hand. Now let's see a few comparisons. So let's start with the standard. So this is a large reptilian right here. As you can see, much smaller. A Endura from Spiderco. These are almost on par. A standard Lego uh, G10 Strider SNG. And SMF. And SMF is a 9 inch blade, so, or 9 inch knife, so they are almost the same size. Okay, uh, as a last part, let's talk about the pricing. Like I mentioned, uh, the, the focus or the, the market for V knives, they are trying to give you maximum performance, uh, high quality product uh, products, materials, and also products, of course, and that will cost uh, significantly more than your, uh, should I say, standard D2 titanium knife from China. So price-wise you are looking at MSRP of $298. This is of course priced without any kind of shipping and, and tax and uh, import charges. V has a really nice website so you can go and check it out. They will list all the, all the resellers or the companies. They are selling their products all over the world. So I did check them out. They are a large quantity of shops on different continents and different countries. So you can go check it out. But usually uh, you will find the price around, the, around this mark. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less uh, depends on on the cost of uh, the overall cost of your uh, import. The steel insert is of course implemented also in this knife. Okay, let's talk about the uh, the elephant in the room. This is a really really nice knife. Given that this is a in-house um, design, the company does not have to pay any royalties to any well-known knife maker. Okay, so I would say they could. Uh, given your a better uh, pricing on uh, this model. If this knife would be for around $200, then it will be, in my opinion, a great knife. At around $300, I would say this is a little bit uh, much. I don't want to, uh, to, to trash talk V knives or any other uh, upcoming knife company but uh, at $300 you can buy a lot excellent um, I will not particularly say better knives but more established companies with uh, with a long heritage and long track record so keep that in mind 
if this would be around 150 then it will be perfect and we do not have to to look uh, at at the uh, big companies when you are when looking at upcoming companies like artisan knives artisan cutlery sorry or tucson knives they will give you a, a great uh, great uh, product for significantly lower price with the same uh, with the same quality control with the same materials so s35vn titanium so but i understand they are they are more focusing on the premium market and therefore uh, maybe the quantities because these products uh, maybe they uh, they require more time and more specific uh, specific uh, instruments or tools to produce them so therefore maybe the price is higher okay i can understand that but uh, really if we are comparing knives then um, i would not recommend to to buy this knife at this price point if you can get it lower maybe on an auction or maybe second hand then go for it full disclaimer i bought it on ebay from a previous owner and i did uh, save on my purchase if you can do that then do it but pay the full price which is three hundred dollars and maybe even more because of the import charges and the the, uh, the shipping costs i would look somewhere else don't get me wrong this is a really beautiful knife i got it before uh, because of the design because i i love this clip point design not so many companies are making uh, this kind of uh, blade shape therefore the the blade shape called me when i saw the the pictures and promos and the v knife is really good at uh, promoting their product it was an instant buy for me but i did my homework and waited to get it a, at a reasonable uh, price or should i say a little bit lower price than the than the msrp so a little bit of rent at the end thanks for watching if you have any questions leave comments down below feel free to ask anything you you want to knife related watch related and thanks for watching and as always have a nice day bye